When we started uh, Searsport Shores Campground, or took over Searsport Shores Campground 21 years ago, we talked with the Treat family about putting the farm back together someday. Campground was part of a much larger farm that went all the way up a mountain across Route 1 from the campground. Uh, it became a reality for us last year that we were able to secure another 120 acres from the Treat family. And what we're doing, it's all uh, wooded, pretty much field and woods. It's a big part of the old farm. And we're putting in a few miles of trails that can be enjoyed by our campers, whether they want to mountain bike or hike or bird watch or just get away from it all. So we've had a great team of workers uh, that are all living or working at the campground, opening up the trails with me over the last couple, uh, last month. We're now in the fall of 2014. We started laying out this project in 2013. To start, we were reclaiming some of the old logging roads, and now we're looking for the best uh, way to walk through the woods where the diverse uh, trees that you can view while you're walking. So the maples and the oaks and the pine and the spruce and the cedar. There's a lot of beautiful cedar up on the mountain here. We want everybody to see. Um, our challenge, of course, like any trail builder, is to work around the water, the rocks, and the roots. And so that's pretty much what we've been doing. We've cut a few thousand little white pines that have been growing up very rapidly in the old trails that were here in roads, and we're opening up some new as well. So we hope everybody can come up and enjoy it, and we hope to have it open by May of 2015, and I think we're going to be ready. We'll work on it through the winter, and we'll ski, ski it as well so we can see exactly uh, where to best connect the trails. This loop will start down on Route 1, come at least a mile, mile and a half up the mountain, and loop back uh, on the other side of the property down the mountain. Mostly a wooded trail, and it'll come back out at the old farm, which has a barn that is 100 years old as the starting point.